And hello. Okay, just hoping this. This is the best and perfect optimization for low end PCs. So if you're playing like SCPSL on like 30 FPS, 20 FPS on a native thing, don't. I mean, like you will get some performance boost, but listen up. This is the latest version, 1.13. I mean, 13.1.1. The same Minecraft. But uh, yeah. So make sure you disable VSync native resolution. I mean, like you can try borderless window, but it's better for exclusive full screen. I recommend you having a GTX card to play this game. Maybe like GTX 1050 Ti, GTX 1050, GTX 750. I don't know. Just GTX. GTX is for gaming. And how about GTS? I don't know about that one. Okay. So um, uh, facility lights. All right. So once you're done with the uh, screen settings, which is don't affect you too much. Uh. Go to the facility lights. Facility lights, these are the things that makes the game look good. If you disable this, it's gonna look dark AF. And for the shadows, you can disable or enable this. But I will recommend you enabling it, then put it to medium. Don't put it at low, or it's gonna look like absolute poo poo. Alright. Now, if we still have performance issues being shadows enabled, disable it. For real, for real, bruh. Blood decals, uh, I usually disable this. Bullet holes. I mean, if you want to make a structure like this, it's fine. Texture quality, medium or high? I'll recommend medium. Why medium? Because it's a, a balanced option between low and high, and still doesn't look like poo poo. Ambient occlusion, put it on low. You don't need it too much when you're running around. Ambient occlusion is this dark spots at the thingy, so if you have shadows enabled, it's gonna make it like more darker in some spots. Which I don't really care about it. We're running so hard we can't even see it. Bloom quality. If you put it on ultra, is it just me or, or it's or is it too bright? Anti-aliasing. You won't see any difference. You don't see any difference. It's more crispy, more crispy than your. Mo but if you put it on enabled, it's gonna turn off like FPS, and you don't see shit. All right. So rat go freezing. I disable this. And now we're going to visual effects. Head bobbing. It's your personal preference. Explosion head shake is also a uh, personal preference. If you don't want to be blind with flashbang dark mode, turn it on, please. On controls, your personal preference. Interface. Interface language, of course, your personal preference. And subtitles, your personal preference. One more time. So, interface is probably one of the personal preference type of thing. So, SCP spawn references. I don't know what is this, but I don't know. I just put it at default because I don't. I'm afraid I will just do some shit and make the game unplayable. So, I'm like, yeah, with the new, the, with the all new update and everything, it's, it's I, I would say, good, maybe. Okay, if you try on the game and you see lots of lots of. FPS issues, like having only a hundred and I mean, like having a if you have a hundred FPS on the menu, you won't expect much. But for mine, I got a hundred FPS on the menu somehow. It can it can go above one hundred and fifty somehow. But when I play the game, it's around 60, 70 and everything. It's good, I guess. So facility lights. As you see, this is the most low end system quality. If you have still have personal 
I mean personal problem. I mean personal FPS problem. One more time, please. Turn on F FPS limiter and put it to something like the f the FPS that you won't even get. For example, you won't get 60 FPS in the game. All right, 60 FPS then. For me, I won't get above 100 FPS in the game. So, 100 FPS it is. This, this also disable screen tearing without VSync. Yes. For me, it works, alright? So, yes. What if you still have low FPS? There's one more thing to do. See this? This? Disable it. The game will look like absolute poo poo, but it is what it is. And bullet holes. I don't need it. I don't really need it. I don't do that much trolling on this server. I mean, on this game. Back then, you should, you can disable blue, but on today, it doesn't really work. It doesn't really work. So. Let me ask one more question. Do you still have more than 30 FPS with this settings? If you don't have it, there's one more option. Turn it to the playable resolution that you can have. This is not recommended. Absolutely not recommended. Low end PCs, roughly between GT 1030 and GT 610 somehow can play this game. If you force it, 610, use this. Okay, so uh, GT 1030 recommended. Uh, 720p GTX type of guy, GTX 1050 maybe 900p, and for the GTX 1060 above, you can put it on your native resolution. For me, 1080p it is. So yeah, I can put on this. So um, uh, yeah. All right, maybe that's it. Leave your FPS in the comment below. So let me think if this is actually useful or just wasting your time like an absolute poo poo.